all the adjacent neighborhoods to the downtown have a lot of thoughts about these streets. You know, the north side neighborhood has Park and Wasant running through the middles of neighborhoods where a lot of housing is. Those streets then continue on through Stewart, Douglas, you know, get implemented in, you know, implicated in Kelsey Avenue, West Main, Douglas Avenue. You go further down West Engine Park and you've got Vines neighborhood. You've got West Inch Hill neighborhood. There are, the, this is a bigger conversation than just what's happening on West Michigan and Kalamazoo Avenue. And so as we continue to have more and more conversations outside of the downtown about these streets, that's when the master plan had the strategic goal of the connected city. And the connected city meant that, you know, just because you live in the Vine neighborhood or in the east side, you need to get to downtown. This is where the transit hub is. This is where commerce is. This is where your job could be. You need to get from one neighborhood to the other. From the time they made the one-way streets, the residents of the downtown wanted them two-way. It was immediately disliked. It had a strong detrimental effect on the core neighborhoods. And, and uh, we've wanted them gone since the day that they were created. First thing I would snap my hands, my fingers and have is a stoplight on the corner of Michigan and Church because that is a really dangerous area and people are coming out of the buildings across the street and charging across Michigan Avenue while cars are driving 45 miles an hour down Michigan Avenue. So I would love to have that tomorrow is what I would love to have. And then we can go on to calming the streets, we can go on to making it more accessible, the stores more accessible. And by uh, working on the parking and working on the walking and all of that.